Okay. Hello and welcome. We're here today on the Curra and we're going to be trying out one of the Map Run F courses. Now we've picked a lovely day to do it. <laughs> we're trying to replicate the real orienteering feeling with a lashing of rain and wind outside. But look, it'll all be grand. We're not made of ice cream. Okay, so like I said, this is Map Run F. So we're using an app on our phone to do the orienteering. That means we can run the course anytime we want. Uh, we don't need people here to organize it or anything. We just log into the app, uh, pick the course we want to do, and the course will, the phone will track us as we draw, run around and tell us when we reach all the GPS points. Okay, so I've got my phone here, and this is the Map Run F app when you open it up. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is you want to go select event. And it'll pull up a list of all the events on the Map Run server, and we want to go to Ireland. And then in this case, we want to go to Kildare, uh, the Curra, and there's one called Canuck, Lumville Short. That's the one we're doing today. And it says it's downloading what it needs. And again, you can do all this at home before you come out. Okay, and then you can see here the event that's selected is Canuck, Lumville Short, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now before we start, we're going to go into options. And we want to turn on a couple of options just to make it a little bit easier when you're with kids or if you just want to, if you're first time yourself these are good options to turn on so by default this is what you get what i'm saying is you want to turn on display present location and display track and what that means is as you're draw, running around uh, your your you, where you've been and where you are will be marked on the map with like a red dot so it makes relocation and knowing where you are very easy if you uh, if you are maybe new to orienteering or if you're with kids and it's fun for them to watch where you're going on the map okay and we come back out of that settings and now we're ready to go we can go to start um so i'll press that button in a second when we get out of the car the start for this particular course is just over behind us over there at the pillbox i think and um, so that's where we're going to go in a minute and we'll uh, catch up there again Okay, so one little thing I forgot to mention, uh, because you're going to be using your phone outside for this, you want to have your brightness turned up 100%. Um, you can, if you want instead, print off a paper map. Now we've done that in the past and it works really well. Um, I just don't have one with me today. The other thing is, turn on the, you, you press the go to start button before you go to the start. Because the minute you go to the start, it's going to register that you're at the start and then you're off, your time is on. Right, so here is the Map Run F interface, and you can see, oops, I hope you can see, Wait, it's basically an orienteering map. Now turn around right, the right way around, like an orienteering map, where's the sports grounds? Yeah, exactly. So that, that black X there, the man-made feature that the start is at, is that sign over there. Okay, so where are we going to number one? Uh, so if we're, let's move over there first. Okay, let's go to the start. Freezing. <laughs> it's cold, all right. I should have put my jumper on. There, first. it beeped. So that's start. That means you've registered start. So where's number one? From here now. We haven't brought any compasses or anything with us today. We're going so, very low, low tech. Oh, go up that. It's at the edge of the forest, so it's over the far, over there at the. The very far forest over there. No, not very, very far. How many bunches of forest do we pass? Uh, one. Two. Okay. So it is the part. So one maybe and two. Yeah, so let's go see. Yeah, okay. There are control descriptions as well. If you browse over the map, you'll see them. Oh, okay. Oh god, he's stuck in the So we've run past one piece of forest and then there's a break in the middle. Lots of metals. Uh-huh. Oh god. Oh, don't let the dog run, please. Let the dog run. Okay, run a short lead, please. So this is yeah. the first forest. Oh, it actually shows you where you're going on the red This line. is what I was saying. It's not like orienteering in, in that it helps you as well. <laughs> okay. It shows you exactly where you are. It's the so, next one. Yeah, so it's hard to get lost. Is it? Yeah. I'll go up to it then. So you run up to the control when you think you're at the right place. Yeah, that 
Did it beep yet? Not yet. Now it did. Alright, so there, it beeped. So now we're in the right place. Okay. And that's how it works. So you basically follow the map, go around from control to control. It'll beep at each one when you're in the right place and uh, see how quick you can do it. So where are we going? Uh, to the tree over there. Tree over there. Okay, yeah. right, let's go. I have the dog now as well. Let's not kill myself tripping over the dog. Hoppala. You want me to take the dog? Hey, yeah, will you take the dog? Yeah. Here, 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 here. I, I can't. Hey, right. here we go. So again, when he gets to the control site, there's no kite, there's no flag like orienteering. But the GPS will register that you're in the right place. And there, I can feel it buzzing on my phone because it's paired to my watch. Oh. Excellent. Where's the next one? And what's the control description? Show the control descriptions. They're actually up on the top of the map. So number three is a wood northwest corner. Let's look at the map again. Whoops. There? Yeah. That's okay. It. That's the first wood over there. Okay. So I think it's like... Uh, what, 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 what do we pass on the way there? What's the big thing we pass on the way there? A road. Yeah, so let's go as far as the road and let's worry about the rest of it. Simplify your legs. And... The rain has disappeared, thankfully, so it's actually nice and dry now. Yes. Hi, where are we going now, Aoife? Up to the corner up there, it's just there, at the orange little thing on the ground. What? Yeah. How do you know that? Because it's right beside a little path on the, on the same machine, the two rows going like the triangles. And it's there. It's like an A, like mine. Okay, but you're wrong. <laughs> okay, so oh, that's down that way. Is yeah, it? yeah. Right. So where are we right now? We're just set up. No, like on the map. Where are we right now? Oh. Hint: the red line shows you where we are right now. Yeah, I know. Yes, yeah, so we're at the edge of this forest here. Yeah. Yeah. So where's the control? Across the road. At the that... corner of what? You can check the control description. The other forest. Yeah. The control description says wood northwest side. So we're just going across the little tiny road in front of us, <laughs> left, right, yeah, and then going up to the corner of the forest, aren't we? Yep. Right. Now we're going down, down again. Right. We'll do that one. That was easy. We'll do. We'll do the next one there. <laughs> right. Go. All right. So I've got a, a V and a track here. Do you see that on your map? Okay. So where am I going? Left or right? Left. Right. I don't know where. Okay. I'm going this way. Okay, you can you can guide me. So, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm not running through that big puddle. Come on, dog, out of my way. Okay, I'm lost. Where am I going now? I've this got. Is the wide junction. Okay, I've got a junction to my right. And I've got a junction to my left. Actually, I've got, I've got, I've got two junctions to my right. Left, left. Okay, which left? How am I going up there? Over the hill. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, let's run up this big hill. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So I want to get out to that junction, do I? Okay. Now where am I going? 
What's the actual control? Did you check what the feature was? Yeah, Under the descriptions. The what do you think, Car? Okay, so back to your map then, back to your map. Where are we going from here? This way. And don't be following the red dot now. Where are we? Read the map. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, five. All right, but where are they? Where are they now? Point, point in real life where those are. Somewhere. One, two, three. Just so we're looking for a depression, yeah. Yeah. So where do we see it? Where do we see a big depression? There. Yeah. Disadvantage of the red dot and line. Uh, it's easy to get caught up following the red dot and not reading the map and actual orienteering. Where are you going, Aoife? Um, stop beeping. Well, stop beeping because I'd say this is the depression. Oh, yeah. 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 Beep. So by default the app says it has 15 meters accuracy and we've found in testing that's about right because it, it typically doesn't beep 15 meters away from the control it'll beep much closer than that but if you have it set to a much smaller threshold it can be very hard depending on your GPS signal to get it to actually lock on and beep properly. Alright so we're nearly finished now we're at the second last one I think. The wind has uh, picked up again and it's a bit wet. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay, Kaya? Yeah, we're doing okay. That was number 12? Yay! Where's number 13? Oh, that's 11. Alright, sorry, where's, where's the next one then? What is it? Check the feature. Lone tree. Okay. has decided to uh, take shelter. <laughs> right. Okay, so which tree do you think it is? This is the tree. Run up to it there now and see if it beeps. Did it beep? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh, beep is off. Oh, it's a big fence thing. A big sheep pen. Where on the sheep pen is the control? Okay, we'll go to that corner then. There's a fence on this side. Go the other way. There's a fence on this side. Go there. <sighs> no. Oh yeah, it did beep too. Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. Uh, right. Back to start. Okay, back to the start. Starting. Where are we going to the start? Way over there. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Branch in the face. Fix this try to take me to a tree. And we're done. Finish. Now, give me that, give me, give me, give me. We just have to upload our result. Yeah, here, here. Okay, so we're safely back in the car now. How's the wind in the rain? Uh, kids are survived, I think. <laughs> ah, 
they're fine. And uh, <laughs> the last thing you need to do is just upload your result. Now it might have auto uploaded, I'm not sure. I'm just clicking on results for events there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Dave Masterson track 3822. Excellent. So that's it done. And then if you want, when you go back into your thing, you can uh, email a track to yourself or if you use Strava, you can upload it to Strava if you forgot to like, turn on your watch like I did. And uh, that's how Mapper and F runs. So um, yes, it, we'd advise everybody who wants to give it a go just to download the app, get out there, try it out. If you want a paper map, they're on canuck.ie. You can download and print the paper maps for the courses so you can leave the phone in your pocket and just use it for beeps. Um, but it's great crack and uh, definitely a good way to keep training during the uh, lockdown. All right, thanks, bye.